Do you want to be able to play Dying Light in VR? Well, this tutorial will show you how to actually enable this native VR mode within Dying Light completely without mods. Hi, I'm Spray VR. If you're new here, make sure you guys like and subscribe. It greatly supports the channel. And honestly, I'd appreciate it. If you really want to support the channel even more, you can always join the membership. Dying Light is a really, really good game, and it's currently on promotion until May 19th. So you can actually pick up Dying Light and all of its DLC for only $10, which makes it such a good deal and is honestly really good for the price. Just like this video sponsor, Destech. Destech makes some incredible Quest 3 head straps, which I personally use when making these videos. They are cheap and affordable and are perfect for any VR gamer who's looking for the perfect head strap for their Quest 3, who just really don't like that normal Quest 3 head strap that just hurts the back of your head and the front of your forehead just a lot. It's multi-position, so it relieves a lot of the pressure that you get off your forehead and the back of your head, and just sort of evens out the pressure altogether, so that way it provides a comfortable position all around. It's also very simple to apply to your headset, it only takes a minute. That's not a joke, if you look here, it literally only takes me a few seconds to put this head strap on. It's very simple, very comfortable, and actually pretty affordable for what you're getting. The material is nice and premium, it doesn't feel like it's going to break at any given moment if you just slightly pull on it. It feels good to use, and it's also just insanely comfortable. And I'm not just saying this because I'm being promoted to do this, I genuinely use this head strap myself, and I actually really like it. DevTech is also currently having a sale for free shipping on all orders, so join the link in the description and go buy some DevTech head straps. Anyways, back to the video. Now before I tell you how to run Dying Light VR, there are a few things I have to point out. Dying Light VR Native Mode was a unfinished VR port that was f being developed for the Oculus DK2, which is a really, really old headset. So just know that this is not modern VR by any standard. You still have 6DOF, but there's no motion controls and you need to have a controller or a mouse and keyboard to play the game. Think of it when you would watch Jacksepticeye or some old YouTubers do those roller coaster things. They would stay in place, but they would still be able to move their head. That's sort of similar to how the Dying Light one is, except you can actually peek around corners and stuff, so it's still st uh, 6 DOF, but there's no motion controls whatsoever, it's not like a Prey Dog mod. And keep in mind that this is native, this was initially planned for Dying Light, it was just never enabled because it was unfinished, and they didn't think people would care enough for it. Anyways, enough yapping, let's get into the video. So let's talk about how to actually enable Dying Light VR. So the first thing you're going to want to do is obviously pick up a copy of Dying Light, preferably on Steam because right now it's under special promotion at the time this video is being recorded until May 19th of 2024. You can pick up Dying Light and all of its DLC for 10 bucks, or, or you can probably get it from some other store, but I, for this tutorial, I'm going to be doing Steam because obviously it was under promotion and it's just simpler. But I'm pretty sure these steps will work with, you know, any other platform Dying Light's on, on PC. This does not work with console. You're going to want to go to this part in your file manager. You're going to see audio and video SCR. You're going to go to your notepad and you're going to drag video onto your notepad. This is going to allow you to edit that video SCR. You're going to navigate to this section right here, and you're going to want to put this line of code. It's going to say Oculus Enabled. This is going to enable the native VR mode inside of Dying Light. Now you're going to save it to that exact location on your file manager, and now you have VR enabled on Dying Light. Third thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download Revive. Next, you're going to make sure that the Oculus Store is downloaded on your PC, which is just the Oculus PC app. This needs to be downloaded so VR can launch and you can use Oculus Link. Now know that Virtual Desktop does not work. You need to use Oculus Link or some kind of form of Oculus headset. At least in my testing, I couldn't get Virtual Desktop to run on Dying Light. Next, you're going to want to load up Revive, go to the bottom right next to your system clock. You're going to right click revive dashboard and you're going to press inject or patch. It's, it's named two different things, but you click either one of those and you're going to want to navigate to your dying light exe, your dying light executable, and you're going to want to click that. That will inject or patch revive into it so that way it can launch in VR. And now all you want to do is load up Oculus Link or Air Link 
on your headset or plug in an Oculus headset. And what you're going to want to do is load up Dying Light like you usually would. And you're going to see now that you loaded up Dying Light, you're going to see that it launches in your headset. You can now play Dying Light in VR with the native VR support. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if, you, if this tutorial worked for you, make sure you guys leave a like and comment down below if anything didn't work for you. If things did work for you, I'll be trying my best to respond in the comments to help you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Why do I keep hitting it? Why, why do I keep doing it? Okay, I'm done. No.